G'day, welcome to Art with Alison. Now I, I've not long ago done a straight pour which will already be up on YouTube and I just thought that I would try the same colours and do a ring pour and see how much different they are. Mind you I can't quite remember the order that I did the colours in so it won't be uh, an absolute experiment but Anyway, I just thought, well, I've got these colours out, I'll do a ring pour in it because that'll be fun to do. All right, I'll just put that over there. Uh, oh, yes, this is a 10 by 10 canvas, deep edge. All right, so I do remember I started off with this. This is a, this is house paint mixed with some flow troll and a little bit of the deco art satin enamel. Now you might hear some noises in the background, little squeaky noises. If you saw my last video, you would have heard about them. The two litters of puppies which have recently been born. And yeah, I breed Labradors, so you might hear some little squeaky noises. And might put a little tiny bit of video. They're not doing anything yet. They're just sleeping and eating, basically. Um, but they only just open their eyes up, or they're starting to. So hopefully I'll get a little snippet to show you, even if they're just sleeping. Um, all right, so colors. The next one, this was a deco art satin and I might say Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Sapphire and the next one was uh, Arteza Prussian Blue and I think I'll do this here is Arteza Pearl White just put that there as a barrier between that and some this is Eraldo Orange a bit horrible with any of these colours really. Um, I might go back to the sapphire actually. And this is Eraldo Silver. I'll do bigger layers this time. And this here is Eraldo palm green and some light green, or green light I think it is. Um, yeah, I'll go straight into the uh, Prussian blue. The Prussian blue is a lot more liquidy than the others. So I was a bit worried about that. But it didn't seem to affect the last painting, so hopefully it'll be the same this time. very full. Alright, so for the base coat I'm just going to use this white. And as I did in the last one and I often do to pour off the excess into the tub. Seeing as there are no other colours mixed with it. I might need a bit more 
next bit. Ooh, that was a lot. But it doesn't matter, does it? By doing it this way, it just helps create a more even surface to work on. Doesn't matter that it hasn't gone down the sides. The rest of the paint will be doing that without any problem, I'm sure. Isn't that pretty? Here are the little puppies. Of course, I've got an air conditioner going, so. Oh, it's all going down the side. That's no good, is it? I wonder why that happened. Not had that happen before. Maybe it was just too full. So now I'm just wiping off all of that, so hopefully we can get a proper spout going. Maybe if I tip it more would help. Trying to be less fussy about my rings. Oh, wish I'd be more fussy than that though. <laughs> Usually I'm a bit pedantic about making my rings go completely round and carefully. I was watching Sarah match you one the other day and she looked so carefree and I thought, oh, I should try and do that. Oh, it doesn't matter if I just. Blend that in. Wow, isn't that pretty? All those little cells coming up. It's just helps get rid of any air bubbles. It does help bring up some cells. Different densities of paint. Some go up, some go down. It's looking really pretty. Might be a bubble. Yeah, it's black. Just like it to sit just for a little while, just for the paint to do what it wants to do. Listen to those puppies. I think they're having a little conversation. <laughs> Their mum's just been in feeding them. It's a ring pull, but looking at it at the moment, ooh, get that in the middle for you. It doesn't really look that much different to the last one, which is a straight pull at this stage. Maybe if I'd have been more careful with the rings, it would have made more difference. Best to get your paint back to the middle before you change direction. 
if you want to be in control of your, well, if you want your composition to stay, basically. I think I'm going to do another pour over. Alright, I just have to sort the dogs out. Um, yeah, some of it I like. But it's too wishy-washy. Um, the colours aren't um, solid enough or something. So I'll do it again. I'll use the same pot. Don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we shall see. Right. No, it's not as full this time. It doesn't matter if some of this original pour ends up still on it. We shall see. Maybe I'll be a bit more careful this time. it slightly then it should end by itself it just filled this not long ago it's like it's running out already Okay, so looks quite pretty just how it is, I think. <laughs> but you can't just leave it like that though, but no, it's way too much paint in the middle. Little puppies making little noises. Cheers, I guess I have any left in it. Oh, it's got by itself.
dog snorting. Something there. It's just an air bubble. But it's pulling on everything. It's just an air bubble, but it's making the rest do funny things. So yeah, this is more like a ring pour, isn't it? Which way around I like it. I like it that way around. I think I'll leave it there. Very nice. Right, now that's had a bit of time to do whatever. I'm enjoying these white lines here, so I'm thinking I might Try and stretch that out a bit. And you because it's been sitting a while it is likely to want to stretch. Probably. Yes, I'm enjoying that a lot more. A bit of green go over and then 
stretch this back and it's going to stretch out those green stripes a bit more. Oh yes. Oh that's nice. I'm really liking that now. I think I'll leave it there. She says continuing to move it. Yes. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm loving all the... I'm not going to drip. I'm loving all these. And it looks quite 3D-ish, like rocks or something. Yeah. It's a pity the orange isn't brighter, um, but yeah, I guess it's made it more subtle. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll have to look at what I did in the last one in the straight pour, and maybe I put different colours around the orange. I think I did white around all the orange, which would have helped it to stay orange, whereas I think this time I put the other colours next to the orange, which maybe that's why it's blended more. But I don't mind at all, I actually think it's really, it's really suits it. And yeah, I'm actually really loving it now. Okay, <laughs> now I'll bring you in for some close-ups. <laughs> all right, so here we are. That middle bit's beautiful. Put the flash on. Just to see all the sparkle. Let me know what you think, please. Uh, if you liked it, give me the thumbs up. That's a good way of letting me know. Always love to read your comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>